Welcome to episode 17 of PVTV, where we talk all things solar. On today's episode, we cover one of the most important things to consider when buying a solar system, and that is solar monitoring. Solar monitoring is the ability to see what your solar system is producing, and today we cover the three different levels of solar monitoring and which level you should get with your solar system. Ross, what is level one? Sorry, I just had a fizzy drink. <laughs> what is level one of solar monitoring? Um, the most basic form of monitoring is called production monitoring, and it generally comes with most inverters, mm -hmm. and it will show you how much power your solar panels are producing. Yeah, and you can see in this graph here, as the solar power starts to kick in, when the sun rises, the graph goes up, and then as it's set, the sun sets, the graph starts to go down. Now, this is, as you said, a standard form of monitoring with most solar systems, and it's usually viewed on your, uh, your phone or on yeah. your computer yeah. via an app as are the next two levels we're about to discuss. Ross, level two of solar monitoring is consumption, consumption monitoring. monitoring. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> what is yeah. consumption monitoring? So consumption monitoring uh, basically lets you view how much power you're using mm. in the home and compares it to how much solar power you're producing. Yeah, so in pretty much real time, yeah. you can see if you turn on the light or the washing machine or um, the dishwasher, for example, you can actually see in that graph the energy goes up yeah. almost in real yeah. time to show you what you're using. And we found that for most people buying solar systems, this is a really powerful tool in allowing people to be educated. And as they say, knowledge is power because people can see what they're using and how much different appliances are consuming in terms of power and match that to their solar production more efficiently. Yeah. And this allows them overall to get a lower electricity bill. Yeah, exactly right. So this feature usually comes standard with battery and solar systems yeah. because by default a battery monitors consumption anyway so it knows how much to discharge. That's good to know. Yeah. And if you don't have a battery and you'd like to add this onto your solar system, it's usually about $500 more yeah. um, than, than your standard consumption monitoring because you have to put a meter into the switchboard that allows you to see how much the home is using and that installation and the parts are usually about 500 bucks Australian. Yeah. So wherever you are, do the conversion. Now, the third level of, of solar monitoring is... Um, it's sort of like a bill comparison. So it can take into account it. your consumption and how much you pay for power. And yeah. It takes into account your solar production and how much you pay for your export. And it can give you a pretty good estimate of what you can expect to see on your next bill. So in the app itself, it'll actually yeah. give you a dollar figure each day of how much you've spent, which is a calculation of how much you've generated, yep. how much you've used, how much you've drawn from the power lines or from the grid and it works all that out and gives you a dollar figure yeah and this is really handy for when you're comparing your your um, electricity bills because uh, some people have the question am i getting ripped off by my power company and this is a good way to tell yeah so i mean there are different levels of how, how good monitoring can do that because the bill can be quite complex so like how how accurate the dollar value is exactly right so this is this would be probably a more expensive sort of solar monitoring yep. reposit is a good example where it's about fifteen hundred dollars installed for this and it's very very accurate yep. almost to the cent and you could use that um, to go to your power company and say hey this doesn't look yep. right or if you have any questions about about your bill this is a really good way to see down to the cent or down to the kilowatt hour um, what you're using yeah um, but there are but some aren't as accurate as that so it just depends yep. how much you want to spend and you should do the research to see is it real time yeah is it how accurate is it? Yeah, or is it just an approximate? Or, or just an approximate. So those are the three levels of solar monitoring, would you say? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. If you have any other questions about solar and batteries, feel free to leave them below in the comments uh, under this video and we'll answer them for you in the next episode of PVTV. Thanks for watching.